Hello guys, it is Gate of Theories, and this week I was watching YouTube, and I found a Lego set for the end of The Incredibles 2, and this Lego set is called Elastigirl's Rooftop Pursuit, and in this Lego set, I noticed that Elastigirl seems to be fighting the villain, and she's not wearing her suit that, that we've seen in the trailers. So today, we're gonna work out why she isn't wearing that suit. But before we go any further, we just wanna mention that we have created a brand new channel, which is called Gate of Theories Gaming, where basically, we're gonna be playing loads of different games, so make sure to go and check it out. I will leave a card to go and click, or there'll be a link in the description that you can go and click as well. And before we go any further, please make sure you've hit that subscribe button as we are trying to hit a thousand subscribers. <music> to work out why on earth Elastigirl isn't wearing her new suit, we're going to look closer at this new Lego set. Now first of all, let's look at who Elastigirl is actually fighting. She is fighting apparently the villain. Now this villain, if you look underneath the mask, is actually a very familiar character. The villain looks exactly like Winston Dever, who we saw in one of the trailers. Now Winston Dever is actually the person who asks Elastigirl to come and meet him, which would be a pretty good trap. And uh, I theorised that Winston actually gave Elastigirl her new suit, as we know it's not made by Edna from this new trailer that says... I'm Elastigirl! Edna designed this? No, some guy named Alexander Galbaki. The Elastigirl super suit is by Galbaki? Explain yourself! My theory is that Winston got his designer, Alexander Galbaki, to design a brand new suit for Elastigirl. Now, my theory is that the reason why Elastigirl would have taken it off is because, seeing as we've just found out that, Gal that Winston is the villain, then he might have done something to the suit to make Elastigirl, Elastigirl do what he wants her to do. So, I'm saying that Alexander Galbaki on purposely designed this suit because Winston told him to, and this suit would have been specially designed to control Elastigirl, which is why in this Lego set, which takes place at the end of the movie, Elastigirl is fighting Winston in her Mrs. Incredible suit and not her Elastigirl suit because it would control her. And there is actually some evidence that suggests that Winston got Alexander Galbaki to create a controlling suit. Because in the trailer, the way Egna uh, responds to it seems like she's met Alexander Galbaki before and knows he does really bad stuff. Elastigirl super suit is by Galbaki! Explain yourself! That's the theory that I came up with, and I think it will work really well that Alexander Galbaki designed the suit to control Elastigirl. So, to get more evidence, I tried looking into this Alexander D Galbaki guy, and I couldn't find him anywhere. Not on any of the character profiles, I looked on the Incredibles 2 IMDB page, he's not listed in any of the characters casting, I couldn't find him on Wikipedia or anything. The only places where you can find him are on websites that are looking at the new trailer that mentions his name in, but they don't actually say who he is. But if in The Incredibles 2, Winston asks a guy called Alexander Galbaki to uh, create a super suit, then you can agree with this theory and come back to this theory and leave it a like because I got it right. If I didn't know, you can leave a dislike, I'll allow you to do that. Anyway guys, thanks for watching this video, if you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe as we are trying to hit 1000 subscribers and make sure that the bell button is clicked so that you get notified whenever we make any new Pixar related videos and um, make sure that you go and check out our new gaming channel, again there is a link to the channel in the description and yeah, I'll see you guys later.